Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News starts now. It was another busy day for the president on the West Coast, including his visit to Bakersfield. We have a look at the historic stop and what he has planned next. Plus a sudden announcement that McFarland mayor says he's resigning. We'll tell you what he had to say about that decision. And a man charged with threatening his way into Bakersfield Heart Hospital is pleading not guilty by reason of insanity. We have a look at when his jury trial is expected to begin. Good morning and thanks for joining us for 23 ABC News at 6 a.m. I'm Danielle Kernkamp. I'm Mike Hart. Let's uh, begin things with uh, a look at our roadways, bringing CHP officer Robert Rodriguez with the very latest. Robert. Hey, thank you very much, Mike. Again, good morning, everyone. Uh, through Bakersfield, things are looking really good. Right now, nothing to report, so good news there. And again, if you are going to make your travels out of town, all of your major routes are open without any delays. All local city streets and local freeways are in great shape as well. That's my look at traffic. Elena, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Robert. Fantastic news there that there's nothing to talk about. Quiet and calm. We're at 43. That's a little bit cooler than yesterday. We're starting to get some early morning light out there. Puppy pictures to delight you because apparently it's National Love Your Pet Day, which why not? Uh, with that, we have a dry weather pattern. We are heading into some of the warmest temperatures we have seen so far here in 2020. Great dog park weather today as we draw up some warm tropical air from the south. But we also have surface high pressure here, which is wrapping around some dry desert winds from the southeast. So with that, there's a wind advisory in effect for our mountain locations and it's just 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. today but that is several hours where you could have some wind gusts to about 45 miles an hour as those come rushing through the desert into our mountain passes and then fan out over Arvin and Lamont it actually enhances how dry and warm we are here on the valley floor 78 for Lamont and Arvin today possibly close to 80 this afternoon just incredible 76 in Bakersfield is about 12 degrees above average you see 60s for the mountain and desert locations and then a chance of rain tomorrow after all this your extended forecast is coming up on a four day swing across the western U.S., President Trump making a stop in Bakersfield yesterday to talk about the condition of the state's water. 23 ABC's Austin Westfall joins us live in studio this morning with the full breakdown of his visit. Austin. Yeah, Mike Danielle, thousands turned out yesterday to hear the president speak. The focus of his visit discussing getting farmers more water in the Central Valley. Many in attendance were in the ag industry and were very excited to have his support. Hello to Bakersfield. I've heard a lot about Bakersfield. President Donald Trump took the stage Wednesday afternoon after Air Force One touched down around 2.30 p.m. Trump coming out to a packed, invite-only crowd in Jayco Hangar at Meadowsfield Airport. Thousands more turning out in the streets surrounding the airport, hoping to get a glimpse of the commander in chief. I have no doubt that whatever he says is going to be good for Bakersfield. But like many Trump appearances around the country, with groups of supporters, also comes group of protesters. He's supposed to be here speaking with the farmers of Bakersfield. He needs to be out there speaking with the farm workers of Bakersfield, you know? They're the people that are doing a lot for our country. In the roughly 40-minute address, Trump talked water for Central Valley farmers. You'd have more water than you knew what to do. You wouldn't have to be rationing water. And it's just absolutely insane. So hopefully the governor will get his act together and you'll get this done. Earlier this month, California Governor Gavin Newsom announcing a plan to keep more water in the San Joaquin River Delta. That was in response to new rules put in place by the Trump administration back in October, committing to sending more water to farmers in the Central Valley. The Newsom administration said it would sue the federal government over its new rules, but so far it has not done so. At yesterday's event, Trump ceremoniously signing his administration's reworking of those environmental rules with several farmers and House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy by his side. McCarthy telling us after the event that the ball is now in the governor's court. We want them to work together. That's what the president was talking about today. We've always worked together in the past. Work for the interest of California and the California citizens while at the same time protecting our environment is a perfect way to go. Now following Bakersfield, the president made a stop in Phoenix for a Keep America Great rally. Trump is scheduled to speak at the Hope for Prisoners graduation ceremony at the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Headquarters today, and he will then head to Colorado Springs for a second rally later in the night. Finally on Friday, he will hold a third rally in Vegas, and that will conclude his four-day trip through the West. In the studio, Austin Westfall, 23ABC, connecting you. 
Thanks, Austin. And Senator Bernie Sanders is set to return to Bakersfield once again for a rally in town. According to Senator Sanders' campaign, an early vote rally scheduled to be held in Bakersfield tomorrow. His campaign says it's making a concerted effort to get more voters to take part in California. Staffers will be on hand at the Bakersfield rally to collect vote by mail ballots and turn them into county registrars. The rally scheduled for tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. at the Spectrum Amphitheater at the Park at Riverwalk. Last time Sanders was in Bakersfield was back in 2016 at the Kern County Fairgrounds. A big development in McFarland. The mayor has announced he will be resigning this week. Mayor Manuel Cantu stated that by the end of Wednesday, he will have resigned as mayor of the city of McFarland, primarily, he said, because it's time for other leadership. He added that he also wanted to spend more time with his family and possibly pursue his passion as a minister. Cantu had been mayor of McFarland for nine years, and when asked if that resignation had anything to do with the death of John Wooner, the former city manager, Cantu said, quote, it absolutely does. John uh, was a great team leader. Um, John was a great friend. Uh, John is a friend. And uh, so him not being here definitely uh, um, has, uh, has, uh, has created some emotions for me that I have to consider as well. But we were a great team. And uh, so obviously, you know, not having John here with us uh, uh, is one of the many factors that, uh, that, that I take into consideration. He also added 2019 was a challenging year for himself and the city, and that played a, a role in his decision as well. Cantudin said that Mayor Pro Tem Steve McFarlane will now step in as the interim city mayor. The man accused of shooting the Bakersfield Heart Hospital in December of 2017 entered a not guilty plea by reason of insanity yesterday morning. Brandon Clark went before a judge Wednesday for a readiness competency hearing. Clark's accused of firing a handful of shots into a glass door at the Heart Hospital on December 1st of 2017. Officials say Clark made entry into the hospital and pointed his firearm at several people. However, he never fired the weapon. Since the incident, Clark has been receiving treatment at a local hospital. The jury trial is expected to begin later this year in October. Attention job seekers next week. There's going to be an opportunity at the library to learn more about jobs at the Target Distribution Center. It's happening next Thursday at the Southwest branch of the library on Ming Avenue from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. Organizers recommend that you come dressed to impress to be recruited by Target staff for the new Target Distribution Center. And attention to Hatchapi residents. You've got a chance to chat it up with the mayor over coffee. That's right, this morning residents will be able to meet with Tehachapi Mayor Susan Wiggins and City Manager Greg Garrett for their Coffee with the Mayor event. It is the third year of this monthly activity, making local government, they say, more accessible. It'll take place at the Coffee Mill at 7.30 this morning on South Mill Street. Residents and staff of Brookdale Riverwalk will be passing out several hundred flowers to random people at CSUB this afternoon. Organizers say it's a chance to spread love and joy throughout the community and lift people's spirits, honoring the Random Acts of Kindness Day. The assisted living facility says it serves as a reminder that kindness can change the world and inspire hope and generosity with actions as much as words. They plan to start their meaningful gesture at noon today at CSUB. One of the biggest names in country music will be in Bakersfield tonight. And get this, out of the thousands of seats inside Mechanics Bank Arena, as of an hour ago, there were only two left. Two. Country star Blake Shelton in Bakersfield for his Friends and Heroes 2020 tour, which kicked off just last week in Portland. Are you going to see if they're still there? I'm checking right, right now, yeah. Good. Shelton will be touring alongside Trace Atkins, the Bellamy Brothers, John Anderson, Lauren Elena. Um, is it? I think only Lauren Elena is one of two warm-up acts, right? Locally? For tonight, for um, tonight, for tonight's show, I think let so. Let me check again. Yeah. Uh, remember, two tickets. Wait, are they there? They're still there. They're still there. <laughs> the two tickets are still there. They're 106, 106? 106 plus? each. Okay. You can get them at AXS.com or the box office. And, oh, disclosure, they're not together. Nope. No. Couple You're seats same apart. row or the same section, couple seats apart. Maybe you can get people to squish. Say, hey, can you slide? Help me out. It can work. All right.